Hey guys, my name is City Egg, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. In the last episode, we got so much money. Our companies are doing so well, and we've created our brand new Sengen version 7, which we're going to be uh, using today to create some pretty sweet games. And if you guys want your game created in the next episode, make sure that you leave some pretty beastie game suggestions in the comment section down below and we'll do just that well we got some pretty cool ones that we're going to be creating today guys if as usual we got the topic there but something that kind of appeared when i finished recording last episode which i'm kind of hoping will pop up very shortly uh, we got new research available pretty sweet liking it mate liking it i'm hoping it pops up shortly because I'm, I'm pretty excited for it it can't, when I pressed the stop recording button last episode, it appeared straight in front of my eyes. And I'm like, yeah, boy, I can't wait for the next episode. So, yeah, I'm kind of waiting for that to appear. And while we do, we're going to drop down some contract work. Try and kill some time. Because basically what appeared was the research and development lab. Uh, and now it's not coming up. We just got to wait for some time for it to appear. But what your boy is going to do now then is I'm going to train some of these people. Now, um, Be Beverly here, she is uh, a wonderful person. Uh, we need to get some... Hmm, she's actually doing pretty well. What about myself here? Yeah, boy, train. I can actually specialize myself in a certain area. And because I'm really high on design, I'm thinking I should get my guy to be trained in graphics. But it need means I need to get my technology up to 450. So I'm going to train my technology. Let's train my technology. Uh, right, where is it? Technology, program course, go for it, dude. Right, yeah, boy, Martin, we're going to train him. Uh, we got to get some of his levels up too. He's got very low design, which is going to have a negative effect on some of the stuff that I want to specialize him in. So, come on, dude, specialize in some of that, please. And Edward, we, uh, he's very high on design, so we can get him to be specialized in. Should we get him to be specialized in? A oh, it's 200 for that. Right, I won't spend no more. I'll let these guys go along. Right, I'm just hoping I get the alert now appearing up because I don't really want to do anything else until we've got this new uh, research and development lab. That's all I'm kind of waiting for. It's legit all I'm kind of waiting for right now. So while those guys do that then, let's just kind of continue building up our our research points. That's really all I want it to um, happen. Do you know what as well? We're very close to 2 billion. Like we've got nearly 2,000 million, which is 2 billion in the bank, which is not too shabby. It'll take a while for us to actually get there. Because, you know, we need another 100 million. Uh, ooh, okay, okay. So generic keyboards and um, computer screens and all that kind of stuff is being created soon. Uh, contract work. This is a big one here. This one can keep us rocking and rolling for some time now. Contract was successful. Uh, contract work. Boom. Keep it going. Just please give me the message. Right, the PlayStation 4 is no longer supported. There's a lot of these new consoles that are out now, like, you know, being out recently, they're, they're all sort of no longer supported. We're going way into the future right now, which is pretty scary. But at the same time, pretty exciting. I've noticed something else as well. The vacation mods disappeared again. It disappeared once, then it made a reappearance, and now it's disappeared again. So weird. So weird. Here we go! We can open our own research and development lab now! Pay 2.5 million? Let's do it! Maybe thinking, hey, Seniac, uh, nothing's changed. What's going on? Well, if I do this, boom! I, go, I press the right arrow and go to the right. We've now got this whole little section here. I can up the budget. Wait for it. Okay, thank you. I, yeah, I know all about it, please. I can up the budget to... to oh. Go back to, uh... Oh, no. This thing's in the way. Green Heart support games, you're in the way. There we go. I, I've upped it to 2.9. Three minutes the maximum, but that's good enough. And I can then start a project. And these guys can pretty much research our own stuff. Now, one of the great things it can research is 3D graphics version 6. The highest level graphics that we can get. It can also research hardware, which we can open up our own hardware lamp, lab and AAA games. So what I'm going to do then, 
Oh, we can also do uh, our instant opportunities, which this is the grid thing that I was talking about ages ago. We've got our engine, which now supports it. Grid is what we can use it with. And even our own conventions where we can build up our own hype. Now, what do I go for first? I think I'm going to go for hardware first. Or internet. No, we're going to go for internet opportunities first. We'll, we'll, we'll keep them going. Uh, these guys, I don't know if they need to go on vacation just yet, but we'll create a new game. It's going to be a large game. Uh, do I create a sequel because we've got a new engine? We're going to create a sequel so we can get some extra cash money moolah rocking and rolling. Right. How did Fool Out 4 do? It did pretty well. Uh, also, no, do you know what? Actually, no. We're going to create our very own user-submitted game. That's what we'll do first. So do we have the topic for it? There we go. Third-person Moab. Or a massive online battle multiplayer thing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, but this one comes from hardware EA10. Ah, he's back again with another good game, guys. He says to go on to create Fools Online. He wants it to be a large game for everybody. And he wants it to be a third-person Moab. Uh, genre, action. Great combo. Consoles, the top three consoles. Bam. Kabam. What was that? The Mbox next. And their PlayStation 5. What? Damn, boy. The latest engine. All looking good. Here we go, dude. We're going to create your game. So we got version 5 graphics at the moment. To get version 6 graphics, we have to um, research that bad boy in the hardware lab. Now, for stage 1, you want the engine high. You want gameplay very, no, high engine and gameplay. Yes, 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 yes. I'll do it like this. And low storyline and quests. I got you, bro. I got you. We'll do people's lightning bolts now. And then by the time we get to the end of development stages, it should be all nicely regened for us, which is going to be great, mate. I just have a really, really bad feeling that these guys are going to go on vacation halfway through. We're going to get a sweet large booth in. Perfect timing for you, Hardware EA, because now we're going to build up a lot of hype for the game. Also, the R&D lab for internet opportunities is almost done as well, which is amazing. We're going to agree to do an interview. Uh, it's going to be more on, let's see what he says, uh, sound you want high, storyline quests low, more on sound, we got it, based interview, based interview, right, keep it going, oh, there's one lightning bolt I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do, this one, there we go, how could I miss Beverly's lightning bolt there, I'm so sorry, right then, in a conclusion, yes, sweet mate, uh, oh, it's already got high technology for where it is right now. We can... Oh, we've done the research. Codename Grid, which is Stain. Uh, we've got that now to be able to research. Let's go over there now. Now it's researched that. Also as well, what it does as well, when it's not doing anything, it's generating us um, research points, which is really, really cool. So we should get the number one booth now, build up tons of hype. And this is what I love about it, this R&D lab. I'm going to spend three million a month, which is not great. But it should be outweighed with what my companies are making. Uh, I'm getting free research points. It's kind of dope, isn't it? It is kind of dope. Right, development stage two. We want very low dialogues. Got them. Um, level design high and AI high. I'm going to tower it like that so we can see the pluses there. Keep it going. So these guys over here now, we're going to uh, research code name grid. And also set the game price to 40. Boom. There you go. So Codename Grid is underway. It's going to take lots of research points, but then we get to create a... It's basically Steam. I've said it many times before. And then we just start earning revenue. It's It starts off slow, but then it builds up over time as more and more people use Steam or Grid in the game, as it's known. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It's kind of cool. Right, keep it going, guys. Technology is looking beautiful in this. They're all going to want to go on vacation very soon. I'm going to work them to the death and send them on vacation in the bug bash zone. Um, should we release the info? Yeah, yeah. Build up some fans. Release the info. Let's go for it. Right. I'm so excited for this. So the third stage, low world design, high graphics and high sound. So we tear it like that because we've got the pluses in there. It's nice. Uh, Xbox One. Oh, we're taking the market. Is that the one we're creating on for right now? I have a feeling that it is. Right, lightning bolts are popping. There's no strong trends at the moment, which is beautiful. <laughs> Beverly's gonna come back with a lightning bolt now. Boom! As soon as she's got it, I've used it. Right, I feel like we are gonna break the technology record at the moment. Easy. You're gonna break it so easy. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped for Grid to come out. Also, Mini Falls. Killing it. Killing it. Oh man, is it gonna get over a thousand? The M Bucks one no longer supported. We got the M Bucks next, haven't we? That's what we've got. Will we get over 1,000? Will we? I don't know. Please work hard and get into 1,000. I don't think we're going to get to 1,000, but it's pretty high technology. We should break the technology record anyway. Right, Grid is not far from being completed also. It's cool when we also get our, like, research our own conventions. It's like, if we can combine G3 convention with our own, that's double the hype. It's ridiculous. Right, there we go. Ah, he's got one bug in. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, boss, it's done. It is live. Grid, the name of our very own interbase distribution platform, aka Steam. Uh, this system should boost the market share of the PC considerably. And if we ever have our own console, it will be a great benefit too. So the PC is now going to take a huge turn of events and have really high market share. And it's what we're going to be using when we create our very own console too. So it all works in our favor. So, oh, we don't actually break the technology record. So, Grid's going to start off, like I said, slow, slow, slow sales. But as the PC gets bigger, we get more money from Grid. And then eventually when we create our own console, we then boost the sales of Grid. It's like we earn money from the console sales, earn money from the game sales, and earn money from Grid. It's like we create the game and earn money. Rather than taking it to a store and selling it, we'll sell it on our own distribution platform grid and make money. And then the customers play that game that they paid the distributor and ourselves money for on our own console, which they paid our money for. It's like every step of the way, we're charging them. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Right, they're all increased it. We can now do all new stuff to research there. I'm going to get my dude over here to game convention. I mean, do you know what game report? Oh, you see there's a grid income? 224,000. That's kind of, that's that's a lot of money, like, straight off the bat, isn't it? Kind of is. Right, how well is Falls Online going to do? It's a solid six. Another six. We get another five. Okay, okay. It's not amazing, but it should, it should, it should make us our money back. Right, I got to send everybody on vacation individually now, which is slightly annoying. I feel like we're going to jump into creating a, uh, a game, uh, not a game engine, a, a sequel straight away. Right, send a vacation, send a vacation, and we'll get these guys over here then. What's the first week of sales? Falls online, 12 million. We get the grid money every month, I believe it is. So I could do hardware, I could do MMO, massive uh, multiplayer online games. Uh, we know how much fun it is. This is kind of called a massive multiplayer online game because then we can start to um, I Think it's the one where you can then start to charge a subscription or something like that I'm not a hundred percent, but I feel like it's something wrong that uh, unlike a brand new game genre allow you create Yeah, I think I think that's what it does. Oh, no, it's not that sorry It's you can create expansions for the game. I think that's how it rolls and then triple-a games Where it's like, you know, we create blockbusters like redefining the world um, so I'm also going to research them, our very own hardware lab, but I'll do the graphics first. We'll get graphics done. So keep it going. Oh, we've actually sold quite quite a few um, units now of that game. Let me just check the game history quickly. Uh, oh, we're already in profit. That's not, that's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Right, once these guys come back off vacation, we're going straight in to creating a brand new game. But more importantly, now Martin's back, can I train him in any area? He's, I need to get his design up, don't I? Because I've got so many research points now, I can actually get people, you know, specialised in areas. So why don't we get Edward now to train and specialise in gameplay? Why not? Let's do that. It's going to cost me 200 research points and 5 million in-game cash, but he's going to be specialised in that area. So we have to make sure that I put Edward uh, on gameplay when it comes to it. Uh, who's next then? We need to get your hmm, technology up. So we'll we give everybody a little train session right now. Everybody can have a little train session. So I want to get my guy here into the graphics. So we have to get his technology also up. So come on, one more. Yeah, boy, Ricky. We'll train him now. He's very low on everything. So get the design back up, please. Uh, Beverly, what are you slacking on? Uh, she needs to get to level seven. So... And we will get a design up as well because our technology is very high. 
And the only person that's missing that now is Hunter. Right, come on, Hunter. Get back from your vacation, boy. I want you to train on something. Uh, we'll train him also on design. So when he gets up to level 7. I think it's level 7. I'm not sure. You know, he's pretty much good to go. Is Martin specialized on anybody yet? He's level 7. We could actually specialize him on AI. He's got very high technology. But I don't have the 200 research points that I need. I can get them soon, though. Do you know, actually, no, I can't get them soon because our research lab's not really doing anything at the moment. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, dear Saniac, the Worldwide Game Developers Guild would like to invite you to a special reward ceremony at the meeting in the year. Okay. Right, sweet, mate. Sweet. Reward ceremonies. That's what I like. You can see now, Edward here has now got the uh, specialized gameplay badge. Or text there, should I say. Right, we're developing a sequel to. Let's see. Let's go back a little bit. SimCity? SimCity did really well. Should we create SimCity 2? Sim! City 2. Uh, nice platform, the PC, which is now again number one. You had a number one market share anyway, but it's gonna it's gonna remain there now for like forever. Until we create our very own console and hopefully we can beat the PC. Please, please. Send you in version seven. We got it all in. Lego. Uh, large booth as well, please. Nice, 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 nice. Come at the perfect time. So just remember, when it comes to gameplay, we need to throw Edward on the gameplay section. So gameplay is here. Actually, I'm on it. But we got to change it now to Edward. Get on the gameplay section, please. And we actually make gameplay high. Engine down a bit. Great. Edward's going to kill it. Right. Our oh, generic PC is coming out. So the generic PC is basically they've turned custom PCs into a platform. Even though custom PCs aren't really their own platform, they're still a PC. But for some reason, the game does that. Don't know why. I have no idea. Right, but here comes G3 then. Build up some hype for SimCity 2. It's going to do really well, SimCity. It's going to do really well. I have that feeling. So we have quite 1.7 million people came to check out the booth for SimCity 2. Ah, yeah, it's going to get all. Oh! The fans and all the hypes. We're over 2 billion in game cash as well. Just pointing that out there. <laughs> So we just made 223,000. So it's pretty much every month we're making 220,000 from Grid. The more games we release on PC, the more money we earn from Grid. And again, when we eventually create our own console. Beast. Beast mode. Lego! Also, am I not, have I not been checking? Because we created the new game engine last episode. And I don't think I'm adding the new stuff to the game engine. Oh, there's been some bugs in a, in a previous game. All right, develop a patch, please, quickly. Let's get it down. I want to get the fans. You get some good fans from doing stuff like this. This means uh, your boy Saniak is AFK. Just for a moment. All right, when it comes to the third development stage now, I need to check. Have I not been adding in all the new features to the new game engine, to the, the two games that I've just created? I feel like I haven't. That's going to be really, really annoying if I haven't. Like, really annoying. Uh, generics fate. Generics main office has been attacked by a terrorist. Everyone in there in Howard Hostage, you found one of the terrorists talking about his phone outside the company office. Uh, you decide. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, whoa! You can welcome him in as a trap, and then he comes in in your company, you trap him, ask questions, and try to. Okay, or just call the police. Listen, I'm gonna say listen and call the police. Uh, the police arrive, really as we are, the police surround the building, they're almost going to break in, and you call instantly. They think you're pulling off a prank and unfortunately break in, some of the staff members, oh, oh, oh. in turn they said they would take keyboards, especially your games, with a few weeks. What is going on? You're going to pay damages anyway. It wasn't a lot of money. That was, that was, that was quite interesting, wasn't it? Kind of scary. <laughs> right. We're almost in the stage three. I had that sinking feeling that I've uh, not been implementing the new features. I've not been implementing the new features. Right, throw your boy Ceniac on the sweet, sweet graphics. It's pretty much all plus plus for this. Right, new graphics. I can't believe. So all the, all the, the two other stages have none of the new features. 
How terrible is that? I mean, the third stage is going to do really well. But the other stages are terrible. Right, we got to remember that for the next game that we, we create. So this game would do slightly better than, the, the, than its pre predecessor, because it's a sequel. But it won't, it won't do as well as it would have done if I added in all the new features from all the other stages. But what can you do? It's best I realise now than not realise at all. At least one of the stages has the new stuff in. Right, can we get more technology in the last game? I think we're gonna, but are we gonna break the records? I don't know. I'm not sure if the record's set within the thousands, but we're so close to the thousands anyway. We've also researched the new graphics too. Uh, the company is recently known for SimCity. Congratulations, you have finished game dev. Uh, now can I get your score? Final score. So we've completed the game basically, but we have not completed the game. Solely because there is so much more we need to do. Basically, the game finishes when you've done 35 years, but you can still continue anyway. So if you haven't completed the game and you've ever been given a score like this, compare it to what I'm about to get. I've made 9 medium games, 13 small games, and 10 large games. And no AAA games. They expect me to get that far ahead in 35 years? Are you crazy? Are you crazy right now? They are crazy. Self-published games of 30. Wow. <laughs> Best sell out of SimCity. Fully enough, we're creating SimCity 2 now. And I'm sure we've had... Oh, that's, that's uh, 43.6 million units. That must have been a publishing deal then. I finished the game. Close. But we're still continuing. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Tell your friends about it. Don't, I, all, my friends are see, all my friends are watching these videos now. Don't worry, devs. People know. Right, I am not finishing this until we got technology over. Over! 1,000! Come on, give me some tech in there. Need two more. One more. Got a thousand. Thousand and one. Thousand and two. Thousand and four! Damn, boys, we have so many tech points right now! This is crazy. Right. Quickly. One more squeeze of lightning bolts. Right, boom. I'm releasing it. Don't care no more. We break records on both. We leveled up gameplay, storyline and quest, graphics. And your boy Beverly. I mean, your boy Beverly. Your girl Beverly has now leveled up to level 7, which we should uh, now to be able to specialize in an area, which is really good. We got new researching options, noise. We got tons of research um, in there. Right, get the report down. Here come the reviews. They're not going to be great. They would have been better if I implemented all the other stuff in. But it looks like I didn't. You a damn fool, Saniac. A damn fool! Right, it's okay though. The game should still do really well. Right, Beverly, can we train her? Specialize in the area. She's really high in technology. We could focus her on engine. We was gonna do AI for the other dude. Right, you're gonna be engine based. You are gonna be AI based. Spend all of those uh, research points. So SimCity 2 comes in and makes 42.6 million in game sales. I mean, yeah, in, in profits, money, cash money, moolah sales. That's ridiculous. I told you it's going to do well. I had no doubts about that. We've got two of our employees now focusing on being specialized in a certain area, Martin and Beverly, which is going to help us when it comes to creating the beastiest of all the games. Uh, Sip here. We're still, we're, still, we're still training this dude. So... Get get your your design up, please. Yeah, boy, Ricky, over here. Um, we need to we need to get one of these things up here. We need to get design up to seven hundred before we go anywhere. Uh, Hunter, he's high in technology. Also, we're we'll probably getting him to be focused on something like sound. I think sound. No, sounds not technology. What else is big for the tech? Level design. But it means we need to get um the level or game design over three hundred and forty. So you do do a bit of game design. Yeah, boy, Edward. He is beastie. He's got, he's got it all. He's got it all. But we'll keep increasing his uh, design. Nice, 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 nice. And what I do as well, while these guys aren't really doing much now, we're going to get him to research hardware, where next episode, guys, we should legit be able to create our very own console. How cool is that going to be? We've got no games at the moment, so I won't do the convention. But there we go. I think we're going to end it for today, here today anyway, guys. We've unlocked the research lab. I created two mediocre games 
because I didn't implement everything in there. We've researched a bunch of new stuff, including new graphics from the hardware lab. The R um, I say hardware, the R&D lab. And now we're researching hardware. This will unlock our hardware lab over to the left, because, you know, on the right is our R&D lab. And then we can start creating our very own consoles, which we're probably going to do next episode. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. If you did, hit the like button down below if you're new and you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm not sure what it's on. I'm not sure what it's on. Before he gets done. Sh should we wait for it? Or should I you know what? No. I'm going to keep you hanging. Unless he gets done at 600. No. I'm going to keep you hanging for the next episode, guys. I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.